size of our tires. All right, now that we've gone over. This place is great. back to Wilson's Wild Ride. I'm Renee of Wilson's Wild Ride and I've been asked several times how do you cook in this small RV or how did everybody cook Thanksgiving in this small RV. It was really difficult and way harder than I ever thought it would be because for one thing I'm a cook and I couldn't fit a turkey in anything. We ended up air frying it like many of you did. I saw um, on YouTube that a lot of you RV guys put half the turkey in an air fryer, which was a great idea. That's what we did. Um, and everything had to be done in stages and we just really cut back on what kind of foods we would have. Um, so I bake a lot and I cook a lot. So I decided to go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff that I do. And today, what I'm making for everyone is a sugar cookie because it's Christmas time. And so we're going to do some sugar cookies and I'm going to show you the recipe. It'll be down in the description. There'll be a um, recipe for that. But these are the best sugar cookies. Um, I came up with this recipe probably about... 16 years ago and it's been my tried and true ever since so let's get started um we're gonna start with the dry ingredients and as you can tell i use all plastic these are creamer uh containers that i reuse all the time um and this one has flour in it and these uh so this cookie recipe i'm gonna put the flour in that's two it's actually three cups but and I'm gonna put the flour in there. So it's three cups of flour. Now you want to keep the you want to keep the dry ingredients separate from the um, the your what's going to be your wet ingredients. So I'm going to do the dry first, um, and I have my handy dandy recipe right here and as you can tell I don't know if you guys do this but your sink I put a thing over my sink this little um, thing that rolls up I put this when I'm trying when I need more counter space because these counters are super small so I'm gonna do the flour and then the as you can tell this is a mouthwash bottle that was um it's being repurposed so uh the baking soda i'm gonna do a teaspoon of that um i'm scared that it's gonna come running out just do and a little bit of salt I'm gonna put that in there, and this is real, right? Um, oh, and this is what makes them super delicious. I use a package of vanilla pudding, um, the instant, and that makes it super moist and buttery and delicious. Um, so I put that in there too. And then we're gonna stir that together. Get that all stirred up. And we set that aside because we, we've got stuff to do here. Um, this is the butter. We're gonna do uh, two sticks of butter. So that equals a one cup. You know the little sticks of butter you get um, in your package? Well now, the packages I get from Costco, um, they uh, they changed them so they're now they're little fat ones instead of little skinny ones. Threw me for the loop at first, but um, it's all good now. It's really the same. They're just compact. Um, so I'm gonna do a cup of butter. Yeah, this isn't for you guys on a diet at all. 
And um, this is the one thing I had to have. I had to have my uh, KitchenAid mixer, which I've had for as long as my son has been alive. And he's been alive 33 years because I, I was given it to buy on my first Mother's Day. And so I've had that and I can't, I just can't, I can't not have, not have this. I know that it's probably better to have a hand mixer and that works just as well, but I really, really like my uh, KitchenAid. So I'm going to do that with, um, again, two cups of sugar and again, my creamer container contains sugar. I just, you know, clean these out really good and it's a little bit of moisture. We're down here in Louisiana and everything is wet. Um, so All right, I got the butter kind of creamed up and then I'm going to add the two cups of sugar. And get that really creamed up. These all go in the back of this um, back here. Um, I put those all up there, stack them all up in there. Uh, and that way, when we're driving and this place is, has the earthquake going on in here, it doesn't all fall and break and I don't have to worry about it. I know it it's, might be a little bit of a pain to have to put your stuff in there, but I find it really useful to do. Okay, I'm going to do one egg at a time. And the reason why I do one egg at a time is because you really want to incorporate those eggs in there a little at a time. And make sure it's fully beaten up. Kind of scrape it down. And then do the other egg. A little bit of the vanilla. I should probably. I just put like a teaspoon of vanilla in. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding the flour mixture. This is really important for my cookies is to make sure that you do it a very little bit at a time. I like to do it just a little bit at a time because I don't want a big clump in there. Okay, so now the cookie dough is all set and what we're going to do now is I'm going to put it into some um, saran wrap, plastic wrap, whatever you call it. And in fact, you really don't even have to do that, but I'm, it's what I'm doing. And you can put it in a bowl, but make sure that you cover it because you don't want a, a crust to form on top. And I'm going to put all of this cookie dough into the plastic wrap. And then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about an hour. So I wanted to show you guys the difference between these ovens. This is why this oven came with the, came with the um, camper. And as you can tell, tight, tight, tight. You can't really cook anything in there. When you light it, there's a flame under here. And it's just, it, I've tried to cook some cookies in there and it just, they, it just didn't work. So I went back home because I had one of these um, at my son's house and I forgot all about it. And now I'm so excited that I kept it. This is just a small, a confection oven it can do regular baking it's older but it works really well and I can fit cookies in there and it cooks wonderful um, as an oven 
and it also cooks as a confection oven which is great because that just um speeds it up and it's also a rotisserie so this is what we're going to cook these cookies in and so i'm excited about having this again if you have an oven like I have in my camper you really might want to consider getting something similar to this I did take up some space using it but I feel like it's really going to be worth it yeah, it's been a good hour and I'm taking the dough that's been wrapped in the saran wrap out um, of the fridge now I'm not gonna leave it all out because there's no way I can roll this all out in um, a really quick time so I'm gonna Cut it in half, about that much, and do it in pieces. So I'm gonna show you what I'll do with the first piece. Now I, I'm used to my handy dandy rolling pin that's been in my family for years, but I didn't bring it. So I left that um, at my son's place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use what I did bring, and that was um, and it's going to be harder. I really wish I had a rolling pin, but this will work. Okay, I've got it all out. Now, the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to keep working your dough. Um, so, I've got, I'm going to do snowflakes today. And I don't know which one I'm going to want to do. I'm thinking I'm going to do the medium one. Um, just because I have never used this. Um, oven in the camper before and I'm going to put this on some parchment paper which parchment paper is your friend it's the best if you don't believe in it you should because it really does help things not stick so I'm going to do all of these a medium size paper. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the oven and we're gonna see how they how they do. We also are gonna finish cutting some more out. Um, unfortunately, with the small oven and the RV situation, we're gonna be doing these in batches. To make, but I'm gonna show you how to make some uh, royal icing. Sometimes I like to use just some regular buttercream, really nice flavorful icing on cookies. Um, but this time we're going to be giving them out. So I want the, I want the crust on there. I want the icing to be a little bit hard so that they're durable for, um, transit. So, um, I've got a, a cup and a half of confectioner sugar in here, a pinch of salt. I'm going to do, um, one tablespoon of, I'm sorry, teaspoon, light teaspoon of corn syrup. Now, a really good trick for corn syrup, if you're going to have used corn syrup, is um, to spray your teaspoon or cup or whatever else you're using it, um, using on it, to measure it. That way, it comes out easy and you don't have to worry about whether you've measured enough. So, I'm just going to spray that a little bit. That's quite a measurement. And then, see, completely easy to come out. Um, then I'm gonna use, I want almond extract. So you can use vanilla or any flavor you like, but today I'm using almond. Mm, that smells good. <laughs> Now, you're just going to use warm water to your consistency. Not hot, not cold, it needs to be warm. This, um, cons this particular Icing takes about 24 hours to fully dry. So if you're in a hurry, you might want a different recipe. Um, I kind of lay these out. And of course, they're all over the um, RV. 
And also, just so you know, that because I have cookies in the oven right now, I noticed that I really have to watch these because of the cooking um, temperature on that oven. I don't think they're very consistent. It's not going to be like your fancy ovens at home. Um, so you need to really watch them. Don't walk away and think that you a timer set will do it because I've noticed that some of my cookies... Um, turned a little bit too brown and others were taking longer and I just think it's the inconsistency of an oven like that that you plug in like that and that'll do it I and then you can just have here I am decorating um it's gonna be a while I got some royal icing colored blue over here and then I have some filler over here like I said do it do what you want you do what you can if you don't feel like putting icing on them don't put icing on them um otherwise sit there have some fun sit around if you have your full-time RVer and you've got your kids with you this is a perfect time of year get those kids decorating I remember my children used to um, decorate the, <laughs> the cookies and to this day they really don't want to do it anymore um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe and enjoy the ride